Under normal circumstances, the upper and lower esophageal sphincters control movement of food into and out of the esophagus. The lower esophageal sphincter, also known as the LES, keeps the stomach acids from entering into the esophagus. The upper esophageal sphincter is in the proximal esophagus. With gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, the LES relaxes and opens inappropriately, enabling the gastric contents of the stomach to flow back up the esophagus. Unlike the stomach, which has a very low, very acidic pH range between 1.0 and 3.5, the esophagus does not. In fact, the esophageal wall is likely to be damaged when exposed to a pH of 4.0 or lower. Repeated and prolonged acid exposure may literally burn the esophageal wall and cause erosions, possibly causing the tissues to bleed. Or the esophagus may scar and narrow, causing strictures that can cause food or pills to get stuck in the esophagus. In some patients with GERD, intestinal cells will replace normal squamous cells lining the esophageal wall. This results in a precancerous condition known as Barrett's esophagus.